importante. Ya bad na mundi ase na abu na moibo. Maka no ye oni mas ne abu na dim shine bo eze mo bolo. Eze mo abili no ulu ubuluku. O umuna ano ise kwa de kenadi we zipoe. Wa pala we afa abu obodo. That is an anyoma man speaking his anyoma language. Of course, Igbo language. I'm sure those of you that understand Igbo perfectly well, you understand what he's saying. You understand his intonation. You will know that he's speaking Igbo. This is a pure Igbo language. And the big question that has been on the lips of many people, what then is this man doing in Delta State? Why is this man not part of the Southeast State? However, the clamor for the creation of Anyoma State is so high. In fact, the discussion has taken the center stage in our political discourse. And a lot of persons, they are excited about it and they are clamoring for it. So many persons, they are supporting the creation of Anyoma State to be added to the Southeastern State. And that is the reason why you see these people, they are coming out to fully throw in their support for it because they want to be identified with the Igbo state. They don't want to be identified with the South South state anymore because according to them for long, their identity has been stolen. So I'm going to allow you to listen to him. I'll be back at the end of the video. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Eh ya bu isi okwo se mekwe okwo isi okwo nyalo na na ye bu enkenke benge si bido bona kai bu ndi igbo si amuwa ai muwa nwa na ni igbo ni ne eji maka ne ndi igbo ni ne no be ni ofunye oka ni ni eme tupo ai ge ji hu de ndi ocha anya nke izi we muwa nwa na ni igbo mbo si nke ikpa asa agwa wa afa obuko ezi okwu we muwa nwa na ni igbo ni ne mbo si nke ikpa asa to e be wu gbo obuna oke do obugo ezi okwu na oko si di na ni igbo ni ne amazi na mo ye mod na ni ndi igbo ni wo mo wo wo mo na o o mesia ne eje na omugo oko na oko si di na ni igbo ni ne obuna ndi ocha ku zi na ya o na ni igbo ni no obodo obuna abo ani igbo wa azu afia no eke orie afo ne nko obodo me wa si bi anya azu bo eke eke won ka ji ezu ike ada lu olu mbo se ke du gbo ama kpasi mo okwu maka ni kpasi mo okwu ni abu afi do okwu ni abia ya bu na ni igbo ni ne ai ai kweli na enwu kpulu bo sa anno na ni igbo ni ne ai mu anwa mbulu mbo se asa agwa wa afa ubo se asa to ebe ugu ofu nyo ofu odi na ni ajigo ma ibu ndi igbo ni ne aba nene me bu mmenwa nene mo obodo nsi bia maka abu mo oyu buluku Ezi no no nsi bia bo ndi a chi obulu na mbu nya nwo mbu bo obulu kingdom tu bo ji luzie nu kita ni ofoda do wari geza nwo mezi obi nke we o mesi a nka nka lu ogo ame nwike chi ndu akpo umu olise obi olise ka na ndi bini we bu aya nwa ke mbu so ya bo yu umu olise ke mbu a bo ndi a chi ni no obulu nkuba mende mu ni lu e kita ni ahunga nke nsi akpo obi olise o ye wo shobo do nsi bia kwa akpo ezemu ubulu nsi ubulu beni oyi igbo obana no beni osukwa abu nisi akuku miri ni bia bo akpo south east osukwa abu nisi nso ni bia ga amari nyi ubulu bu biko enwe enwe ke gwa ni mo nyi ubulu bu na ni igbo ubulu osisi ka obu onwe emari na beni osisi owa akpo ubulu bu nyi eje gwa obodo nsi bia fa maka na ubulu oni di na bo osisi akwa ka akwa osisi ka obu abu akwa ubulu ugu oyi ubulu ugu ke mbu osisi o koyi bo kwa the most predominant tree in that land area called ubulu ugu is a tropical tree eba wa wala cha mbulu wa osisi o kwa kwa ubulu ya kwa jibu na ndi ibo ni ine no ne uwa ni ine bo ndi ubulu aine we unwa miti ya bu nye mbi ya tata abu na nye njo suno kwa dome nko unwa mbi ya nde muni me mege 1987 all the descendant communities of ubulu bia together 2007 on yahun so beni akpokomoko we na lagos abia abia luwe by si bia bo ubuluku for a meeting of ubulu descendants ya bad na mundi ase na abu na moyibo maka no ye oni mas ne obu na dim shinebo ezemu ubulu ezemu obiri na okulu ubuluku 
ohun mu na ano isekwa de kenadi wezipo e won pala we afa abu obodo obodo asoa ekerie ekerie asoa ezenaria ezenaria asoa nega anega ba asoa ezemu afa ni ne ni mba be ni afi ise ba afi ibo ya bu adne mu ndi ase na abu ne mo ibo and manage ku mo ge ni agwa ndi ni ne chame na webu ndi ani ocha una hunga ngwe si kwa ani ani bo funyo be ni ne sha ejin ani ocha ya bo bodo ndi obu na wa cho cha uwo bu sha ja ya jo cha ka ikwa abu na akpo bo ani ocha ai bu ndi enu ani ya bu bu unu ge nwike kpo people that live uphill ndi mbu mari geography shi ne nye ni wa kpo flood me me ofofu ge nu na ni community na ani ocha the flooded is not possible ya bu ai bu ndi bi ne up here i bond in one of who can on one community in one of who can on other were flooded or less in the open air is in between one couple i bond in one in the new book why i pack open and your child why is a man in one when one you have an alpha yoruba bob an alpha bini bob an alpha also yes i nandy bini not in me i nandy yoruba not in me i know one on a guy bull or guy or the call wa babu ai na olu ogi bu ni wa ya ebuto wa ya unu weri phone be ni bu nde ne ne internet ige nwike browse unu akpo adesu wa wo obodo nsi bia na bini we nu ya ba ya obna wa mu ai mada da ma ya na die ama de ga ma ya me we ogwo wa ga chikwe ze we ze we ga bi obodo ai ai meme na nye ndu we meme na wa akpo idai idai bu nyo bu ni bi obodo nsi bia o yo bu na ku meme na maka na ada nwuchu Manage the worker in Mimine. I must not call it seven and then Kaiga, Susan, I was Nandibo. I need Bobofu. Or the Dicky Len is a Yaman Wiki work on one of any mono. No kind and deep bossy day. And one moon, eh? Nan B. Say, you quite a dinner as our polo. When I was as a Macon was so over. And one moon, eh? Ne a bony state. When I was as a oboro. I want to go to Bolo. 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 Open air, no worry. The go here, you see, you could go. Yeah, we could be. Yeah, can you walk? Oh, we jump. Oh, go good. Then go not. Then can I? Oh, what's that? Then you know me. Oh, no, what the name? I did that. Oh, what the name? Oh, J. Oh, no, J. B. Bomo. Oh, J. K. I. J. B. Bomo. No, but don't see Bia. Oh, J. K. I. J. I. Check on your Bia. Oh, your Bia. K. I. Check on your J. Oh, Benga, Lun, Ketania, more chain more, each any more jab than your one when I was never in Cambia. Ya Pomezia Moyobia Ya Bunno, no porgy, guy porgy, no no pony, guy pony, no no waka, guy waka, no no ponte, guy ponte. I must never go see nobody because I can no losing yahoo. I know why ya. I am one together. Whom I want in the Sesha by out. I am a very mining. As na we tukwe meka kaduna nzo ku na obuzi na oyo kwa na mbeni na oyi ibodo ni akuko na ngosi bia e e tweet e wa ni ne de ka ndi igbo igbo ne ka ni nebo ya bu ejimo ge ni ario igbo ni ne sha de ne uwa ni ne ndi obolo ni ne no na delta state e no no kwa ne e no ne ndo kwa bob ni ano ne Obo sha ni idu mu isi bia nyu idu mu isi bia kwa akpo abo nta abo na ni igbo means ofunye it means splendor beauty paragon abo nta means a place where it is beautiful to go and hunt o ya abo nta kembo abo nta idu mu ede ya bo ndi weke ne ede na obolo kembo ejimoge ni ari ono bikoni ndi ekiri ni nkuma agwo nwo obene ndi no beni maka ndi no beni ekweri ge na agwo ndi igbo akwa jibia ndi ekiri ni ndi ge mese hu nye di me mekusha unu suai kwa wanu muna ai 
Neze de mana no weze ye asem ma mo di beni neze kembo. Ya ma se se ma na faibo tuku e meka kom na faibo o konko. Ya se afambo o konko ma na abu kone mo hibo. Yu di jinyaka e epe na asha. Gen si bido no gi izi. Gen si jie kose ya bo oku. No bo shane o bodi si bia. Wa zo afi anoni ayoku. Oso kwa wa kwa ari apa ni eka abolo zi eken. Ori abolo ori. Ofu nyodo. Ofu yi jogo e uwe moku si. Uwe kune obodo nsi bia. Ya bo ya mare suwa kwa suwa no do. Uwe ya mare ne suwa suwa nani. Mane ya ma hongsi zi odo bulu na asu nani. Kaya shu komeni ya bo mwa meri no fwe titi kwa obo ana ayoko. Na asu wani idon ka shiende. Ba ako. O reji ya wun doe nyi. Aku idonka. Ya bo kobu web kwa bo ano ibo. Idonka shiye ne ba ya bo akwa wemi ke jye wun doe nyi. Biko ni ka ya no komen na ono. Ka ya la wun adik ije. Tuku eme ka kwa do kobo ka ene bi kwa do. Kobo li ije yon wa re bulu ni si kbala na abo. Ne yon kwa do ya bo ije. Ke modi o bo di si bi adwi. Weje lua ya bo ije. Eee igwe. Da lo. Eee ndi po kome ya bo ije ya no ni me. Atu kwa nke nke nao no kunu si ye mefe. Ya ntu yono ne. Ya bo ku makene. Mwa take mbo. Manonu ye no ya bo ugu. Tuku ya kwa ya zuko no no ya bo ugu. Da lo ne. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is incredible. This is beautiful to listen. Listening to this young man. Boss in pride. Donning his Igbo attire. Speaking the Igbo language with all sense of pride. Is something to behold. I so much love the sense of harmony, the sense of unity that we are experiencing among communities in the South South State who are yearning to join the South East State. I must say kudos to Senator Nod Nwoko and other senators that are reviving this spirit, especially for the creation of Anyoma State. The Igbo race, a tribe united but politically divided. Then you ask yourself, What's an Igbo man with Igbo language, Igbo identity, Igbo culture doing in a South-South state? Of course, the current South-South creation was done to politically disadvantage the Igbos. There are over 20 Igbo communities in the South-South state, including a Do state. Yet, the Nigerian government is saying there are only 5 states in the Southeast. What an irony. What exactly is the crime of an Igbo man in Nigeria? What exactly is his crime to be denied his freedom and identity? When you look at the Nigerian state, you will see a clear case of Igbophobia. This Igbophobia did not start today. It is as old as Nigeria itself. Let me take you down memory lane. You must have heard of the Igbo coup of 1966. Of a truth, the coup was deliberately tagged Igbo coup because of hate for the Igbo race. You know, when you want to kill a dog, you give the dog a bad name. The coup was carried out by Southern military men. Southern here comprised of the current Southwest, the South South, and the Southeast state, including some persons from the North. Now, look at the list of the coup plotters. Going through that list, how many Igbo people did you see there? Out of 14 persons, only three of them were Igbo officers. If we have to go by the current Nigerian political creation, only one of them is an Igbo man, who is Major Ife Ajuna. But guess what? Igbos were punished for it. The major reason why they plot the coup was because of perceived corruption in the country then. The coup leader Kaduna Zog, who hails from Delta State has this to say when declaring martial law. I am bringing this so that you will know the reason why that coup was carried out. And he said, in quote, In the name of the Supreme Council of the Revolution of the Nigerian Armed Forces, I declare martial law over the northern province of Nigeria. The constitution is suspended and the regional government and elected assemblies are hereby dissolved. All political, cultural, tribal and trade union activities, together with all demonstrations and unauthorized gatherings, excluding religious worship, a ban until further notice. The aim of the Revolutionary Council is to establish a strong, united and prosperous nation 
free from corruption and internal strife. Our method of achieving this is strictly military, but we have no doubt that every Nigerian will give us maximum cooperation by assisting the regime and not disturbing the peace during the slight changes that are taking place. I am to assure all foreigners living and working in this part of Nigeria that their rights will continue to be respected. All treaty obligations previously entered into with any foreign nation will be respected and we hope that such nations will respect our country's territorial integrity and we avoid taking side with enemies of the revolution and enemies of the people. My dear countrymen, you will hear and probably see a lot being done by certain bodies charged by the Supreme Council with the duties of national integration, supreme justice, general security and property recovery. As an interim measure, all permanent secretaries, corporation, chairmen and senior head of department are allowed to make decisions until the new organs are functioning, so long as such decisions are not contrary to the aims and wishes of the Supreme Council. No ministers or parliamentary secretary possess administrative or other forms of control over any ministry, even if they are not considered too dangerous to be arrested. This is not a time for long speech making and so let me acquaint you with 10 proclamations in the extraordinary orders of the day which the Supreme Council has promulgated. This will be modified as the situation improves. You are hereby warned that looting, arson, homosexuality, rape, embezzlement, bribery or corruption, obstruction of the revolution, sabotage, subversion, false alarm and assistance to foreign invaders are all offence punishable by death sentence. Demonstration and unauthorized assembly, non-cooperation with revolutionary troops are punishable in grave manner up to death. Refusal or neglect to perform normal duties or any tax that may of necessity be ordered by the local military commanders in support of the change will be punishable by a sentence imposed by the local military commander. Spying, harmful or injurious publication and broadcast of troops movement or actions will be punished by any suitable sentence deemed fit by the local military commander. Shouting of slogans, lottering and rowdy behavior will be rectified by any sentence of incarceration or any more severe punishment deemed fit by the local military commander. Doubtful loyalty will be penalized by imprisonment or any more severe sentence. Illegal possession or carrying of firearms, smuggling or trying to escape with documents, valuables including money or other assets vital to the running of any establishment will be punished by death sentence. Wavering or sitting on the fence and failing to declare open loyalty with the revolution will be regarded as an act of hostility punishable by any sentence deemed suitable by the local military commander. Tearing down an order of the day or proclamation or other authorized notice will be penalized by death. This is the end of the extraordinary order of the day which you will soon begin to see display in public. My dear countrymen, no citizen should have anything to fear, so long as that citizen is law-abiding and if that citizen has religiously obeyed the native laws of the country and those set down in every heart and conscience since 1st October 1960. Now I want you to listen carefully to this. He said, our enemies are the political profiteers, the swindlers, the men in high and low places that seek bribe and demand 10%. Those that seek to keep the country divided permanently so that they can remain in office as ministers or VIP, at least, the tribalists, the nepotists, those that make the country look big for nothing before international circles, those that have corrupted our society and put the Nigerian political calendar back by their words and deeds. Hearing those words, you can see that these were young military soldiers that were moved by passion for their country. Unfortunately. What they try to stop is still ravaging the Nigerian states today. The people who tell the story of the 1966 coup to paint the Igbo tribe bad did not tell you that their aim was to install a Yoruba man Akintola as the head of state. They also did not tell you that the coup was forestalled by Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku and Agoyi Ironsi. And of course, they will not tell you that the reason why Namdi Azikiwe and Maike Okpara were not killed or arrested was because Azikiwe traveled out of the country to treat an infection in his throat and Maike Okpara was having a state meeting with some Cyprus delegation. 
the plotters did not want to interrupt a high profile foreign meeting they won't tell you that despite having just three Igbo men in the plotter list that there was a counter coup in 1967 carried out by northern military men this was a revenge coup and they separated Igbos and killed them in their numbers both soldiers and civilians were killed like chickens on the road on the airport everywhere Igbos were punished for a sin that others committed this cumulative effect led to the anger that made the Igbos want to succeed out of Nigeria and again the federal government killed them in their millions they did not only kill them they divided them politically today they call the southeast state landlocked after politically partitioning their land why will you call the southeast state a landlocked state when in river state the mighty major tribe in river state are made up of the Igbos. you have Igbos scattered all over the country the south south even in some part of the middle belt like kogi state why will you call them a landlocked state when you politically divided them because of your own selfish reasoning that is the reason why the agitation in the Igbo land will not cease because you deprive them of their right you deprive them of their identity you try everything possible to make them lose their identity that is why today we are hearing of the Anyoma state and that state creation must come to fruition for so long they've tried to keep the Igbo community divided but I'm so happy that the conversation we are having now is to ensure that they bring all Igbo communities together the conversation they are having now is to ensure that there is harmony in the Igbo community the conversation they are having now is to ensure that a normal state is created out from the Delta state since you say the Delta state does not belong to the Southeast state give us a normal state that is what they are clamoring now and of course you should know that the creation of a normal state is as old as Nigeria of course we have Denis Osadebe who has been clamoring for this Nanda Zikwe has equally been clamoring for this once again I want to say kudos to Ned Woko for trying to sponsor this bee and we all believe by the special grace of God, this bee will see the light of the day because the people of Anyoma state, they also deserve to have their own state. They deserve to be part of the Igbo community that they were erroneously and politically stolen away from. Their identity will never be lost. They will be part of the Igbo state and together they will build a united, prosperous Ali Igbo. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.